Animal Shore. We are finally back in Paris, France. You guys who have been watching my vlogs for some time now know that this is my favorite place on earth. And honestly, we decided to come here on a whim. So I don't know if this is going up first or if Milan's going up first, but basically I was in Milan, Italy for fashion week. And no, I am not coming to Paris fashion week. That's next week. I have stuff going on later with work in Los Angeles later this week and I'm just traveling all over the place. I am in Paris, France for 24 hours. We got here yesterday. We slept so much and caught up on our sleep. Now it's like 2 p.m. and we're getting glam. I'm with the Fancy Vlog team and I'm gonna hit the recording studio because my producer is here in Paris and then we're gonna enjoy Paris and try to do as much as we can do in Paris in 24 hours. So if you guys want to know who I'm with in Paris this trip, I am with Valerie, the hairstylist. Hi. This is Val. She's incredible. They're all my best friends, by the way. Like, my dream team is are my best friends. Mikey is my stylist. Hi. What are you doing? Just getting your look ready for the day. We pulled this little coquette dress for you today. Loves it. Because it's cold outside, we have this coat over it, and then my favorite Prada bag. We also laid out for you. <laughs> and then over here we have Johnny Diesel, or should I say Johnny Schaefer. I'm pretty sure I said this in the Milan vlog, but he is my personal assistant slash creative director. We uh, did that tea party video and I explained how we have the, like, the exact same style and vision. So that's why everything I've been posting has been pretty aesthetically on point lately. He's the genius behind that all. We're all just a group of crazies and I'm so excited to see what we can get done in 24 hours here in Paris. So this is the final look the dream team put together. I'm gonna be holding this Prada bag. My Dior pumps, no necklace, and little pearl studs. This group is a little chaotic. Oh. <laughs> So make we're, sure you look good. <laughs> uh, my producer here, actually, we co-wrote a song in 2020 that I've never released, and I definitely think it's the song that's gonna like do things. And because of that, there's been a lot of like back end like business and legal stuff we had to sort through and then today i think we're just finalizing a bunch of stuff you have to get a lot of approvals and changes and you have like alterations it's like a long process i was not expecting to be in paris this like right now i thought it would be maybe in the spring so i thought it was going to be a summer single if i get this the clearances and like do the final touches today i might have it on time for my album see you at the studio So I'm sitting down to eat and I just had an amazing time at the studio. I didn't do anything because I think I'm gonna be recording tonight and I might have to stay up for 24 hours because we leave tomorrow morning because I have to go to LA. Um, so I might end up going to the studio at like midnight to update the track. We had a really good meeting and now we're about to eat snails escargot. They keep turning. Oh my god, it is sexy. So good. Wait, oh do, that, do that, Chef. Yeah, she's out! Mmm, oh my god, it's so good. Right? I love it. It's, it's better than clams. It's better than clams. They're chewier, They're really but... Soft. I love garlic. What's the green stuff though? Pesto. Is it pesto? Here we go. In past trips to Paris, I like to go to Chanel and get myself a Chanel bag, it's like a souvenir or a piece of jewelry. 
And although I found so many beautiful pieces, such as this necklace and these two gorgeous Easter-inspired colored Chanel bags, which I was very much drawn to, something changed in me this trip and call me a new woman, but I decided to invest in my first Chanel fashion piece. I know in the past I've had Chanel vintage fashion from auctions, but I never straight up went to the store and found an item that I fell in love with and purchased. Three credit cards later, I invested in my first piece in Paris, France, straight up 2022 fashion from Chanel, and it was Audrey Hepburn inspired. I figured after the year that I had and everything I've overcome that I was going to finally treat myself with such a gift. running late to our boat cruise, our dinner cruise. So I'll see you guys there. Nothing can compare to the gratitude that I felt in this moment on this dinner boat. Being back in the place that feels like home, more than home, with my team, which is basically my family. I never thought I would see Paris this month or let alone this year with the people who believed in me when I didn't even believe in me. This trip Paris seemed more beautiful than I had ever remembered. In past trips and in past vlogs, I've always romanticized Paris and glorified every trip, but this time just felt different. Maybe it was because I knew what it felt like to not be able to go to the place that I love most, but I figured that this time it was because I had more growing up to do than in past trips, because now I see Paris in an appreciative way that I have never seen Paris before. Thank you. 